Hansel and Gretel. Two children that got lost in the woods and had to face the trappings of the wilderness and the hideous practices of an evil witch. As if by magic, they survived this traumatic experience. The kids have become the symbol of brightness and heroism. But is this popular interpretation of the story correct? One day, the children accompanied their father into the woods. While he was cutting wood, the children picked forest berries. When they had picked the last shrub, they fell into a deep, relaxing sleep. When they awoke, they were shocked by the realization that their father had vanished. Raising two hyperactive children was too big of a burden for the poor lumberjack. For this reason, he resorted to drastic measures. Child abandonment is a criminal offense for which the father faces from six months to three years of imprisonment. Hansel and Gretel slowly became resigned that they were lost in the woods. The lost children had to find their way out of the woods soon, but they were running in circles. Stereotypical environments can easily cause disorientation. Dusk brought terrifying sounds. One of them was the rumbling of Hansel's stomach. When the stomach is empty, it sends a signal to the brain, which starts stimulating the digestive muscle. That results in a rhythmical wave motion in the walls of the digestive system. Apart from gastric juices, the stomach contains many gases. These move and create specific sounds, sometimes known as stomach rumbling. Hunger causes mood swings and intensifies frustration. If they want to maintain their sanity, they will need to find immediate help. Two children, lost deep in the woods, having to fight the wilderness, hunger, and frustration. Just when they begin to feel hopeless, the children discovered a remarkable house. Finally help. But instead of seeking help inside the house, they begin feasting on it. Consuming other people's houses is naughty. As wood-eating insects are bad for wooden houses, children are absolutely horrible for gingerbread houses. Consuming a gingerbread house is classified as vandalism. The two children could face up to one year imprisonment. Alarmed, the homeowner asks, Who is nibbling at my house? The kids dishonestly reply, The heaven-born wind. These children have absolutely no problem lying. When the trusting woman closed the window, the children brazenly continued to eat the house, not realizing the fatal effect the foodstuff was having on their bodies. When you allow hyperactive children access to a large amount of sugar, it's like pouring gasoline onto a fire. Sugar stimulates the activity of the adrenal glands. They start producing higher amounts of adrenaline hormones, causing an increase in aggression. If any building is to endure weather influences, it has to undergo surface finishing. Sealers usually contain volatile substances, for example, methyl benzene, which as most sniffers know, can be found in glue or in paint thinner. While the children were enjoying the gingerbread building, their bodies were slowly being flooded with chemical substances, causing paranoia, hallucinations, and uncontrollable behavior. It is really no exaggeration to say that the children were high from the spices. The children claimed that the old lady was about to eat them. But is something like that actually likely? We need to ask a fundamental question. Were the woman's teeth in such a condition that would allow her to chew up a child? The answer is no. It's clear that the children lied again when they accused her of cannibalism. The penalty for such slander carries a sentence of up to two years in prison. The astounded woman realized that her house was disappearing into the stomachs of two naughty kids. She decided to act to protect her property. If you deprive a small intoxicated child of sweets, all hell breaks loose. The children went nuts. The woman went through living hell. The assault was fast and effective. Being baked alive is incompatible with living. 
By shoving the senior in the stove, the juvenile offenders committed the crime of murder, and they could be incarcerated for up to 18 years. The naughtiness of the two gingered up rascals did not end there. Before they ran away from the crime scene, they were not ashamed to search the house and steal pearls and gemstones of exceptional value. This is a clear-cut case of theft. The penalty is from six months to three years in jail. This confirms that a liar will also steal. Consumption of a building. Cold-blooded burning of a pensioner. Theft. Can such deeds be considered heroic? It seems that even fairy tales have their dark secrets. Hansel and Gretel belong to the most treacherous psychopaths in fairy tale history.